Sixteen, take one. Marcus. Come on, Needy. Let me stay the night. We can play boyfriend girlfriend like we used to. I'm not gonna bite you. <sighs> Jennifer, check. She's that narcissistic, selfish, self-obsessed girl that everyone knows in high school. She goes through a lot of transformations, and she becomes at one point in her life a victim, and then she becomes a predator of sorts, and um, things get crazy. My name is Jennifer. <laughs> My name is Jennifer. I don't do anything. The demon overtakes my body. I need to feed, I need to eat human flesh. I start eating boys in my high school. It's crazy. This is our house. Just for you and me. We can play mommy and daddy. No way. I need you frightened. I need you hopeless. This is a really original screenplay, and the way Karin is shooting it, it's a really original movie. It's, it's different than anything I've seen, and that's it, definitely been out in the last 10 years. What drew me to the role of Needy, because uh, she's, she's a heroine. She's a protagonist, and yet she's not glamorous or totally figured out, and... Um, I don't know, and she, but she's also real, real, realistic. Is it because you're just really insecure? How could I ever be insecure? I was the snowflake queen. Yeah, two years ago when you were socially relevant. I am still socially relevant. And when you didn't need laxatives to stay skinny. Needy takes matters into her own hands because Jennifer doesn't exist anymore. Jennifer is dead, <laughs> and... The zombie is very much alive, and that zombie is a stranger to Needy, and nobody believes her, and Needy's the only person that's really seeing this. I really, really love the Needy that she has become. She's just sort of uh, frantic, and at the same time, she's very analytical and logical and, and nerdy, and, and just uh, her eyes are so expressive. You can see her observing these horrible things happening, and you can see the vulnerability, and you can see that she knows that Jennifer is behind it, and at the same time, she's not really expressing that right away. And it's just, it's, it's, it's not an easy thing to do, and it's, it's, it's just beautiful to watch. I think it's incredibly special that it was written by a woman, it's directed by a woman, and it's starring two women. Mason Novick knew immediately that Megan Fox was Jennifer. He, he had broached that subject, and he had, he had brought it up to me, and I said, I said, get her. You know, and, and, and we also knew that once, once we had Megan, that we definitely had a shot of getting the movie made because she's, she's such an exciting young actress and everybody is, is so psyched about her. I just think there is something for everyone, and I hate when people say that, but I truly do find that to be, to be accurate with this film. There is, the horror genre is really huge with teenagers. They'll always go see a horror movie and they're going to love this, but it is funny. Um, it is emotional. There's a lot of emotions in this film and a lot of serious issues as well uh, that play off of the comedy because there's comedy and tragedy. Um, so I just think that, that every audience member will walk away liking a part of the, the film, if not all of it. I am going to eat your soul. I thought you only murdered boys. I go both ways.